Sorry, I'm sitting on a swivelly chair and it's really hard not to swivel. <laughs> I mean, it's just me and someone like, wee. I'm a child. Hi everyone. Um, welcome to the real Inktober. Uh, so a funny story about Inktober is when you see it on on, on blah, 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 when you see it on the internet, it just looks like this magical, miraculous, amazing art creation month. So in my brain when I started this challenge, I was like, ah, it's gonna have to be such a great month. I'm just gonna draw all month and it'll be amazing. See. I mean, it's been great. It has. I've done some really great work. Super proud of it. But I'm also at the end of my varsity year. And end of the year means exam time, um, deadline craziness. And it's also the end of the year in general. So we have one of those years um, that run from January to like November, December. Um, kind of like, so year end in terms of work, where it's the busiest, is also the same as varsity year end, where I'm the busiest at varsity. So it's a bit of a crap time of year, because <laughs> I'm really busy. And then I decided to do the 30 day drawing challenge, which has been great. It's been very informative. I've probably grown a lot in terms of my drawing skill, but it's also been really crap because I've had to fit it into a really busy part of my life. So this week has been a bad week. And next week's probably going to be worse, but it's the last week. <laughs> Yay! Um, so, this week has been... It's not a bad deadline week, but I've had a couple things that I've needed to hand in. Um, so, on Tuesday we had a deadline that I stayed up until like 1 o'clock in the morning trying to finish, and then... Um, we didn't really have any deadlines after that, but I've had a lot of hectic work days this week, so I've been working till about 8 at night, and then only coming home, so I've just been busy. So I've only really started doing the drawings at like 9 o'clock at night, when I just want to go to bed. And now, this weekend, instead of having a whole weekend to do homework, Inktober, and stuff like that, I have the whole of Sunday at work. So I'm trying to put in two commissioned pieces. Um, I've never had commissions in my life. <laughs> Okay, that's a lot, but, you know, after I've decided that this is, you know, illustration is what I want to do, um, I haven't had any commissions for illustration, and now I have two. <laughs> okay, it's like one and a half. The one is just I'm making a sketchbook for someone, which I suppose isn't really... Any two things that I have to do for people other than myself that's not part of my job. Like, my actual physical, I get paid every month kind of job. Um, so I have two of those that I have to do. I have two hectic deadlines that I have work to do for. So I have a deadline on Monday. Um, today's Saturday, by the way, but because I can't work on homework tomorrow because I'm at work tomorrow, it kind of needs to be finished today. Um, so it, it yeah, fitting, fitting Inktober into this week has been interesting, to say the least. I have also kind of been running on, like, negative create. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but... You know when you're just tired, and you just want to nap, like, for a week? And then you have to try draw and be creative and inspired, and it's very, very difficult, because creativity is so, so pleasant. when you're in a good mood, when you're feeling great about yourself, um, which has not been this week for me. This week has been a shitty week in terms of getting marks back. I've been feeling tired, gross, grumpy, um, just a bad week. And I mean, my studio is a mess. Gugh. And I'm running to produce amazing artwork. And it's been really hard. Um, it's mostly the getting started that's the issue. Once I'm there, once I'm doing it, I kind of get into it. I get into the groove. A two second drawing turns into a two hour drawing. <laughs> like last night, I was like, I'm really tired. It's like half past ten at night. I just want to do a quick 15 minute to half an hour drawing, like max. I think I finished at like two minutes to midnight. And that's only because it was like, well, for it to technically count, I need to be finished now. I probably could have done it more, but 
So yes, for those of you who are considering a 30 day challenge and you live in a place where they do school or varsity if you are at, at that kind of... Because I know in the States and in some places in Britain, I don't know about Australia, anyway in other parts of the world you have kind of school varsity life that starts in about September I believe. Um, so October is kind of like September, October, you're just getting into school slash varsity slash, I don't know if work works the same, I don't know, I don't actually live in other parts of the world, but it's a a a a a a but it's a point in the year where you're kind of easing into things, like in first term, it was a super chilled experience, you know, you have like a couple deadlines, you're still trying to test the waters, see what you're feeling, you know, they're kind of easing you into life. And even if they're not easing you into life, even if they just throw you straight in, I find that the year gets worse as you progress. So if it was bad in the beginning of the year, it's just going to be awful at the end of the year. Um, but my point is, is that for the rest of the world, I don't, I don't know if that's the rest, for very influential parts of the world, um, like the US, which I think is where Jake Parker, the person who started October, is from. Um, it's a very chilled part of the year. Yeah, it's not a chilled part of the year. Everyone's going into like final exams for the year and this this last term is kind of the term that determines your fate. <laughs> so, not the best time of year for me to partake in a 30 day challenge where I have to draw every day. Because I'm not, I'm not one of those people who could just sit down, do a 50 minute drawing and then walk away, even if it's not finished. I'm one of those people who have to finish the drawing until it's really finished. Um, so there's that, but <laughs> advice from someone who's done their first ever 30 day challenge, so I don't know if the <laughs> listen to me, um, think carefully about which challenge you're going to take up and wait. So I'm glad I've done Inktober, well I'm doing Inktober, yeah. I'm glad I'm doing it, um, and it's been a great experience, I'm really enjoying it, but at the same time it's kind of horrible, I just want to sleep all the time, <laughs> I'm so busy. Um, and with those three extra hours a day that I put into drawing, you know, I'll be going to bed at like 9 o'clock instead of like midnight, <laughs> which would be great. But my point is, is if you're going to do a 30 day challenge, I would recommend already committing to the challenge, like. I've seen a lot of people start Inktober and then kind of fizzle out pretty early. Um, I think once you've made it to the point where we are now, you're like a third of the way, just, I mean, two thirds of the way, you're almost there. Just finish it. Um, but I know for a lot of people there's like legitimate reasons why they can't. They get sick, they get too busy, their whole life starts falling apart and, you know, Inktober's not the most important part of it. I do get why people haven't finished it, but saying that I do see the value in finishing an entire month's worth of a 30 day... Well, that made no sense. <laughs> I do see the value in finishing a 30 day challenge. I really do. And anyway, the point is, is that if you are going to do one, aim to commit. Mm, did that make sense? like aim to finish the challenge and pick a challenge that's right for you I mean if you're not 100% committed to illustration is Inktober the right challenge for you? like I know it's an art slash design slash creative kind of challenge but I'm sure there are other challenges on the internet where like 30 day challenges or other challenges in general where I don't know it's for digital art or something else. I mean you can even set a challenge for yourself. I know, oh, I'm gonna have to research this, but there's this one one YouTuber which I've been watching which is actually kind of an interesting challenge, is a, um, that she set for herself. It's a draw this again for 30 days kind of, so she draws one drawing and then every day she redraws the same drawing. So, you know, she sees how her mood changes it, her, you know, it's, it's a really cool thing. Um, if I don't remember to research it when I'm editing it. I'm very sorry. Um, you're really cool, <laughs> whoever you are. 
Um, anyway, the point... Uh, actually, I'm not sure what my point is anymore. Inktub is real. It's hard. It's an interesting experience. I do recommend it for anyone who's interested in doing it. Um, but I kind of expect to change your life a little bit, like, in terms of how you normally function. I mean, I'm busy. As a general rule, I'm a busy person. I'm incapable of not doing anything. So taking on Inktober is just taking on another thing. And I have to fit, fit it in. I'm not the kind of person who would just be like, kind of committing to it. Um, and then, you know, halfway through, I'm like, oh, I don't really want to finish it or I don't have time to finish it. If I commit to something, the likelihood is I'm going to finish it. So, you know, I mean, I'm trying, I'm really trying to squeeze in the drawing every day and it's very challenging. And I suppose that's why they call it a challenge. It's not just something you do for 30 days and like show the world, look, I did this thing. It's a really impressive thing. And I take my hand, absolutely astounds me how people can do Inktober. Uh, and when I say people, I mean like artists, illustrators, whatever. For 30 days straight, and not only do a drawing every day, but put out a video every day. Dude, that's so hard. It takes so long to film, first of all. Drawings take a lot of time. Then to edit, then to wait for the flippin' video to export. That's like 400 years of your life gone. And then up still upload it and wait for it to upload in a day. And then still do other stuff. <laughs> it blows my mind. 